Welcome, pilot. You may proceed. All right, for science. So uh, this is the result so far. Let's show you this quickly. Welcome to Jump Gain on Major Freak. Forgot about that. <laughs> so um, I went boom, going 20 uh, clicks um, with 43. Um, yeah, it was pretty sad. It went boom really bad. Uh, I'll just show you it. Might as well. So that was at 31.10. We got the rotor call. Yeah, I confidently speed up to 20, knowing that, assuming that at 20, I go down to 97. Oh! So that was mostly ice, and it's 4,000 mass, whereas common and all the others are 8,000, so... The mass of a Harmaton is 44,000, but since I had, what the hell? One sec. Um, since I had 4,000 times, what was it, 43? Yeah. Um, I was, yeah, really heavily loaded. And going at 20, I went boom. I did the same test with common going at 10 and I went down to 33 uh, cent shields um, I want to know when I because I normally don't mine ice I normally mine other things than ice so I wanted to test um, what was the maximum it, uh, speed I can do with a fully laden um, harmata because you know what are you gonna do? Mine till you got 42? No, you're gonna go in fully laid. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. This we ob I obviously like it wasn't like a misremembering. I knew I could impact um, at 20 with no cargo, um, and with little cargo, and I assumed that cargo. If I'm laden, it wouldn't matter. It must have been a misunderstanding uh, of what happened, but I had no idea. I was confident, uh, because based on misinformation I gave myself, that I impacted and lost that that anti that anti flux. Yeah, that kind of sucked. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, go searching. Uh, once I get a ranger and find some UC-15, uh, that will take a long time. So, get, get that dealt with. So, yeah, the test is how fast can I collide with a roid um, at full cargo uh, on various ships with various shields, right? Um, obviously not the worst shields, but the best shields you can have at a certain level. So I'll be able to test all that quickly, get that done, and that's my plan. Just mine common, bap against it oh, once I get full cargo, and what can I get away with? Uh, it'll take a while uh, for the Harmaton, but it should be easier with the smaller ships. So here we go. That's that's the plan, at least. So what you're going to see me do is just black myself against roids until I go boom, basically. So it's going to take quite a while. I'm just going to mute the mic. You know my intentions. So it's basically, I'm going to hit it laden until it goes boom. Um, and that's the maximum. And you can hit it faster, but it recommended you hit it at a lesser speed. Or, you know, that's the maximum speed you want to be at at all times, just so you get it in your head. I mean, hitting it faster when you're unladen is, you know, dancing with the devil, basically. So, yeah, I'm just going to mute the mic and go for it. Since we're talking about mass and fully lit, let's take a look at 
the because it doesn't have it. Let's take a look at the at the masses of everything. Can I fill up a ship with the lightest mass thing possible? So water is mass of a thousand. Wow, copper is okay. Okay, maybe like twelve hundred. Yeah, copper is like almost nine thousand. Uh, so silicon is approximately twenty three hundred. So I'm stout twelve hundred. Grain I'm thirty. Carbon twenty six hundred. Quantize twelve hundred like the others. Uh, wow, iron almost eight thousand. That's the lightest I've seen so far. Aluminum, 2700. Ah, uh, manufactured foods, 450. So that's the lightest so far. Organic foods, same. Uh, titanium, 500. Zinc, 7100. Wow, molly. molly. Denim, Holly Denim, Holly Benham, Holly, whatever, uh, 10,000, 7,200 for chromium, cobalt is 8,900, germanium, 5,300, silver, 10,000, uh, barium, 3,500, uranium, almost, almost 19,000. Ammunition. Okay, so if I was going to test easy enough, it would definitely be ammunition because ammunition is exactly 8,000 mass. So, cool. Sounds great. 530 for lithium. Construction parts are 650. Iridium is 22... What? 22.5 thousand so that's even heavier heavier than uranium boron is 2300 chemicals 650 phosphorus 1820 uh, sorry 8 1800 um gem woods lightest cool so if i was going to stock up do i have any here 50 yeah if i was going to stock up with something uh that i want to plug up my cargo so I'd only have X amount. Definitely gem woods for sure at 19. Nice. Alright. So helium almost 900. Conflux. Well, we don't have any so I'm just gonna ignore it. Medical supplies 650 just like food. Optics 1700. Composites 1800. Trap. 2500 interesting magnetics 1800 armor 8200 xenon almost 5,900. Machine parts, 3,800. Radium, 5,000. Fiber optics, 670. Iridium, 7,300. Vanadium, 5,800. Erbium, 8,800. 8, Electronic parts, 650, just like foods. Gold, 19,000. Point three. Explosives 4200. Magnesium 1700 ish. Palladium 12,000. Laser 1300. Synthetics 5400. Power 2400. Plutonium almost 20,000. Ram 650 just like food. Antimony 
And I think that's Guidance 3 for, like, the Cutlass and stuff. I wonder how many are Guidance 3. CPU. This is 50. Or approximately 50. So 800. Um, cesium. Almost 1900. RF. 710. Uh, fuel cell. 650. Gravitational. 3600. And prosthetics, 650. So yeah, definitely ammunition. Um, how much ammunition do we have here in station? 95. All right, uh, that's great. I'm just going to impact station with... Yeah, it's, that'll save me time. <laughs> Purchase completed. Yay! All right. So let's go impact something at 20. Oh, wait a minute. We know I'm going to blow up at 20. Um, so let's go at 10. So we'll go 10. And at 10, I was at 33% with 43 or 42. So, and I'm sure it doesn't matter what I impact with. But for simplicity's sake, we're going to impact let's get back to dock here I think it's right there pretty sure crap pig I don't know how I got the concept that it didn't matter how much cargo I had. It could have been that I was in a lighter ship at the time, and what I had in my cargo was... No, that's... I don't know how I got that concept. Well, it certainly cost me, didn't it? Ugh. I knew I should have... I, I should have put that damn... There it is, okay. So I'll go in path the blue thing. So. Basically. I'm just. Hello. Exact, and I'm comfortable with the approach, and I should hit 20 when I hit the roid, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm, yeah, I'm less than 2,000 now from it, so I'm fine. shield storm Yeah, 
50-ish. I haven't actually tested the range yet. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go boom here, so I'm gonna go... Oh, God, I'm gonna go boom. I swear I'm gonna... So... 16. So I need to be... 15 or less, and I just keep doing that until I don't go up. <laughs> I think it was 80 before, so... Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna buy all this. Whee! Okay, so... That'll, that'll make my job a little bit easier next time. Um, power plants, yeah, so... Gives me fifteen thousand point four. Purchase This way, yes, I can. Good. So let's crowd because transaction complete. 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 Something. Charging weapons and defenses. Please stand by. Fucker. Yeah, and this way I can be completely confident I can smack against a roid next time. At a certain velocity. Because sometimes it's helpful because you're close to the roid and you're like, oh, I want to get further away from the roid, but I don't want to turn my ship around. I'm just going to blap against it and get some acceleration backwards. So, And, you know, it's a good when you're orbit mining this is like okay don't go any faster than this because if you lap against the roid at this speed you're gonna blow up fully laden right so it's safe charging weapons and defense systems please stand by getting in the habit of rotating on the y-axis because the harmattan has... Oh, I forgot to look at its armor. And I already forgot the, the shield amount, too. 
think it was what, 54K or something, I don't know, I forget. So the Haven, and we're gonna impact. Well, we know if we impact at 10, we'll be fine. So we're gonna impact at, I'll try 12. I wanna try 15. We're gonna try 15. Well, no, we're gonna try 12. Just because we know me stupid about it. But I'm hoping it's 15 because that would be a nice orbit, you know, speed. So let's drain some roids. Where is some. Ah, okay. Oh, whoa. Okay then. Bet you can overcharge your afterburners. That would be fun. But hey, at least we have them. All right. So this should have six. No, more than sixteen. Did a chip? What do you think? Whoa! Crap! <laughs> okay then. That's all the ammunition. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that, that answered the question. Okay, so 6.6 6, thousand compared to... Pretty sure ECM doesn't work against uh, flux. Um, so give me a second. I'm gonna grab my calculator here. So six thousand six hundred divided by fifteen four. So I am forty three percent of a shield. So it's I've got pretty much half. So this is doubling, this is tripling, I'm assuming, I guess, ish, it, whatever, it, it seems like I'm tripling my hit points when I do this, so, or at least, you know, I've got this on, I've got, give me a sec, I'm being silly here, um, doing my suck at math. Plus six thousand six hundred divided by hundred. Okay, I've got yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so I've got like yeah, I suck at math. Um, forty three extra percent um, with my armor added onto this. So. So, uh, yeah, I've got 22,000 hit points. Uh, unfortunately, I have so much more. Because of... 
just how much does all this like how much does all this mass right so let's get the calculator out right so mass by four four shepherd plus four thousand plus two doorbell is three hundred drum is sixteen hundred I'm assuming all this is calculated as well right one one hopes plus oh okay it doesn't show the mass right fine Fourteen thousand so far. Seventeen thousand. Oh, fifty-two. Cool. Okay, so seventeen thousand three hundred seventy-six mass. Plus. Charging weapons and defense systems, please stand by.
sure other people have discovered this years ago or decades ago. And I think I probably just have discovered it myself, but reinventing the wheel. The theory is that a chip is eight, a small is 16, a medium is something, and a large is 48. So let's just do the math, let's do the math on that. So eight plus eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. Pretty sure that the chip is is eight, right? I'm gonna rethink my calculation, but I, 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 I my intuition said forty-eight. So watch this go above forty-eight. Now, next time I do this, it'll definitely be in a orbit test, and I can guarantee you it'll be faster, even with the ML amplifier. But you know, testing, testing, and testing, and more testing. Like 20 years ago, I didn't test very much, and I just went my first, you know. Did I sell everything? Pretty sure. Let's check the cargo. Oh, I have a haven aboard. Wait a minute. Did I fit my shields? Yes. Now the percentage will vary, it's just, I think it's RNG about how much you're going to get. I don't think, I don't think it's a fixed percentage per, I don't think they gave common roids a, a percentage-ish each, but the only way you can ever test that is if they had a specific bore amount in an asteroid and you mined it till you couldn't anymore. But I don't think that's true. I think it just turns blue and when it gets to a certain blue you just can't anymore. But it's not like a fixed a unit limit, right? So it's not going to stop at 49 here, it'll just keep going, right? so yeah, that's, that's a theory.
Cool, so there's three large at Quantar Depot. I mean, Quantar Station Core.
6.1, and I need to be probably S minus, so going right is minus, so I'd say 50, and then minus 2.3, I need it to go negative still, so I go 50, so I'm just going to add 5 for each one, and I'll negate 5 for the last one, so 8.15, right? No, we're just going to 6.1. Uh, let's try that. Minus 2.5, minus 8.15. Uh, whoops. Enough for horseshoes and anchor, it's done. Right, that's freaking dark. Oh, that's handy. like docking because if I out well, for in space it's a bit annoying. That's just yeah. Alright. Okay, so let's get a rid of this sucker. Mm -hmm. 
transaction or complete. Do I have the starter? Tie two. That would have been awkward. Purchase complete. Transaction complete. That would have been awkward. So, did I get everything? Everything's, yeah. Charging weapons and defense systems, please stand by. Yeah, I like the fact it remembers your riddle calls. For a system, it's really cool. Okay. I should actually, you know what? I think the smartest thing for me to do with deceleration is just take a recording of how long it takes me to whip over the Y axis. Grab. Oops, grab. What am I talking about? How am I talking about? Um, whip over the Y axis, get to, um, you know, uh, turning around completely 180 using the vector. I usually look at the ender trails, but I'm like, why don't you just look at the vector arrow, dummy? Um, and then uh, just calculate doing the x-axis just by habit. Just how long it takes on afterburner to, in distance, to decelerate. I don't know why I haven't thought of that before. So let's get fully laden. And then impact at 10. We'll do 10 velocity. Percent shields, fully laden harmaton, haven shields, ten velocity, and one unit of ice, twenty-five percent shields. So I'm assuming that I regen shields up to hundred percent pretty quickly, unlike Eve Online where it slows down. I think it's it just looks like a standard regeneration no matter what. It doesn't look like it's slowing down. So we'll be patient here and then just freaking impact the game.
Backing procedure initiated. Thank mm -hmm. you. 